Hi friends, welcome back to our tutorials. In today's episode, we will learn top interview question and answers on MS SQL. Microsoft SQL is a, a very leading, uh, one of the leading databases in the market. Now, this inter if you are planning to go for any interview and if you are preparing on database uh, interview, this tutorial on MS SQL Server will definitely help you crack that interview. Before we get started, I'll request you to kindly subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have any doubts, any queries, drop them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you for free. Let's get started with MS SQL interview question and answers part one. So what is MS SQL? MS SQL stands for Microsoft Server SQL. That is a Microsoft's relational database management system. It's a full featured database which is designed to compete against Oracle databases and MySQL. MS SQL Server is also referred as SQL Server. So remember that it might not be confusing for some. It may say that it is MS SQL for some they'll say SQL Server. So what is SQL Server agent and what are the two modes of authentication in SQL Server? So SQL Server agent plays an important role in the day-to-day -day task of the SQL DBA, that's database administration. Now, its purpose is to implement the task easily with the scheduler engine. Now, remember that there are two modes of authentication in SQL Server. The first mode is mixed mode. The second mode is tools menu of SQL Server configuration properties in security page. So the modes can always be updated, can be changed. Now, what is a cursor and what is an index in SQL? So in SQL, a cursor can be defined as a tool which is widely used to define a particular set of results. This result can be a set of data rows. So basically, a cursor is used to solve complex logic and works on a row by row manner. Index, on the other hand, has the main function of retrieving data from tables much quicker. Indexes are created by users on columns that may be accessed frequently. This enables the users to get information quickly from the table and can be created on a single column or even a group. So some of the indexes we know are unique key, foreign key, primary key. So these are the indexes which we have created on the columns. So it will be much easier and faster to retrieve the data. What is SQL Profiler? It is a tool that allows system administrator to monitor the events in SQL Server. It is mainly used to capture and save the data of each event of a file or a table for later analysis. What is CoelSec and check constraint in SQL Server? Coel escape is a function that is used to return the first non-null expression from more than one column within the arguments. And check constraint, it is used to enforce the integrity. It is applied to a column in a table to limit the values that have to be placed in a column. Explain subquery and state its properties. So subquery, it is a query which is used when expressions are allowed and can be nested inside the main query, like select, update, delete, and insert statements. Some of the properties are a subquery in the main query that has to be placed on the right side of the comparison operator. A subquery has to be placed within the parenthesis. It cannot have any order by clause. More than one subquery can be included in the main query. Now go through this. This is very important question. Uh, a lot of times in interviews, it is always asked. So make sure you go through this subquery in detail. Let me know if you don't understand any concept. I can give you some more examples of it. What are the types of subqueries? The types of subqueries are single row, multiple row, and multiple column. So single row will always return a single row. 
multiple rows will return multiple rows and multiple columns it will return multiple columns to the main query explain trigger and its types so explain trigger and its type so trigger it is used to execute a batch of x sql code and when the commands like insert update delete etc are run so it is run against a table so you can use trigger after any sql statements now when you create a trigger it will automatically execute or trigger that data that whenever that data is modified now the types of triggers are insert update delete and instead of what do you mean by collation recursive stored procedure now collation it is defined to specify the sort order and there are three types of sort orders binary case sensitive and case insensitive recursive stored procedure it is defined as a process of resolving a problem where the solution occurs repetitively this can be nested up to 32 levels explain magic tables in sql server when the triggers are fired for any dml that is data manipulation language now insert like for example insert delete tables are created these tables are called magic tables in sql server these tables are used inside the triggers for transactions state the difference between local and global temporary variables so local temporary table these tables are invisible when there is a connection that are and are deleted when it's closed so think of it like this sql server internally maintains some tables which are created temporarily which are called local temporary tables now these are deleted once certain task is achieved these are invisible when there is a connection and are deleted when it is closed what is global temporary table then so these tables are in are visible to all users and are deleted once the connection is closed so the main difference between local and global temporary tables is the visibility mode to the user local tables are not visible global tables are visible to all users explain cdc and sql injection now this is a common question in all interviews whenever uh, we attend any ms sql server interview or dbms uh, interview questions so they'll ask you about cdc and sql injection cdc stands for change data capture which captures the data that has been modified recently and sql injection is an is a kind of a spam attack used by users trying to insert strings so that your query fails or it returns you invalid data and they would be able to see uh, or maybe possibly manipulate uh, your uh, database access so uh, that is what is a sql injection so it's usually done by inserting uh, strings or quotations etc uh, so those things um, that are done uh, it's kind of a hacking technique um, which is done uh, to to break into your database systems all right so that brings us to the end of uh, the series of first part of ms sql server there is another series that's another tutorial that's coming up which is part 2 on ms sql server so stay tuned for that if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please do so and if you have any doubts any queries please drop them in the comment section below I'll be happy to help you for free. Thank you so much for joining uh, in this episode. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much.